Welcome to NICE Real-Time Designer How-To Videos. In this video, we will demonstrate how to read from Excel using library functions. Reading from Excel is used in most automations. The library functions we will demonstrate enable users to quickly retrieve data from Excel files, connecting to single cells or to big chunks of data. To read from an Excel file, first create a new business entity type. In the Business Entities tab, click New Type and give it a meaningful name. Now we need to create a variable to store the data from the Excel file. Click New Property and give it a meaningful name. Next, we create the function to retrieve the data from the file into the variable we've created. Click New Function and give it a meaningful name as well. Next, click Insert Function and Assignment. Select Object and select the property you created earlier. Then click Enter value, library objects, MS Office functions, and get Excel cell value. Specify the name of your Excel file, URL included, the sheet name within the Excel file, and of the cell you're reading from. To read from a range of cells, the process is similar. Create a new business entity type. Here, we will use the type created for the previous process. Now we need to create a variable to store the data from the Excel file. Click New Property and give it a meaningful name. In the Properties tab, click Property Type and choose List. In the next box, instead of Text, click the box and choose Library Objects, General, and Row. Next, we create the function to retrieve the data from the file into the variable we've created. Click New Function and give it a meaningful name. We now specify within the function where the value should be returned to. Click Insert Instruction and choose Assignment. Click Select Object and then the variable you created. Next, select the function to read from the file. Click Add Row, Library Functions, MS Office Functions, Get Excel Cells Range, and again, enter the file name and sheet. Type in the first cell to begin reading from, and then how many rows and how many columns to read. Here's a summary of what we've reviewed in this lesson. Now that you know how to read from Excel, Creating automations for your processes should be much simpler and much more comprehensive. You may also want to watch our short how-to video on writing to Excel. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more short how-to videos about the nice real-time designers functions.